So, you're thinking about batteries. Batteries are all over the media right now. People are getting really excited about them. But did you know there's a lot more than the Tesla Powerwall on the market? So at SolarQuotes, we've created what's called a battery storage comparison table. At the time of filming, we've got 32 different batteries that can power your home on there. So have a look at the resource. It's become a bit of an industry standard, which is pretty cool, for looking at which batteries are available, how much they cost, and what the specs are. If you're looking at a battery for your home, you're probably interested in the power of the battery. So that's how much electricity it can pump out at any moment in time. So talk to your installer, see what kind of power requirements you've got, and then use the table to find batteries that are suitable. There's, I think, 23 specs on there, but all the other specs are basically distilled into one specification, which is the cost per warranted kilowatt hour. Bit of a mouthful, but basically what it means is that is the amount of storage that the manufacturer of the battery will actually warrant. It's actually what they'll put in writing. And I would argue that that's the number that you should trust. Now, how do you use that spec? On the table at the moment, I think the cheapest one is around 42 cents. That's cost per warranted kilowatt hour. So what does that mean? That means that it's gonna cost you 42 cents every time you store a kilowatt hour of electricity in the battery. Does that make sense to you? Probably not. Most people are saving around 20 cents a kilowatt hour by storing the electricity in the battery. So spending 42, 43 cents to save 20 cents makes no sense economically at the moment. So look at the table, look at all the batteries on there. We update it all the time as and when new batteries come out and that's the battery storage comparison table.